Talk to head coach of the Boardman Spartans, Fred Moods. Coach, thank you so much for taking the time to, to hit us up today. Uh, thanks for having me on. It's been a minute since we were able to talk softball on YSN, and we're, we're happy to have you back. And before we ask you about this season and all the things that you have to look forward to, I want to give you some time to reflect on last season and some of the things that your returners learned from last year and some of the things that maybe you as a coach learned from going through uh, last season. Um. Well, you know, we lost a tough one there in the district championship game. So something obviously, um, you know, coming into this year, we could, you know, build on. Um, uh, scheduling up uh, obviously had us ready for the tournament. It's something we do year in and year out. So, uh, you know, I guess that's one thing, you know, when I took the job that was uh, key for me is to make sure that these girls are ready for the uh, tournament run. You know, obviously coming into this year, um, I got a lot of new faces there at the varsity level. Um, I had uh, eight seniors last year, um, which most of them played, you know, were on the field for me. So, uh, you know, I guess the other thing you take from it is Division One softball. It, it's pretty tough for sure. All right, Coach, let's look at the roster that you are bringing back this year. Give us some uh, – you'll I'll just have a break down the roster, you know, the returners <clears> that are going to be big for this team again this year and maybe some of the new faces that are going to fill the spots of those great seniors that you were able to, to coach for the last four years. Who you got and who should Spartans fans look out for this year? Yeah, you know, we're, we're obviously we're, – you know, we're really young. We're really – we're going to be somewhat inexperienced at the varsity level. Uh, obviously, returning is uh, Tori Strines. You know, Tori was amazing down the stretch for us. Uh, in the circle, um, and then obviously uh, Maddie Weimer, who was our returning catcher, and you know my three seniors. Uh, I didn't have one all last year. Natalie um, coming back off a torn ACL, it looks great right now. So I'm very optimistic that Natalie obviously is going to help us a ton. And, you know, and then Maddie Dravecki and uh, Cami Goski, both of them played the outfield, you know, for me last year and were key role players, but. You know, again, not maybe everyday players last year, but, you know, this year I'm looking to get more out of, you know, obviously all three seniors. And, and um, you know, Natalie um, is hungry and she's ready to go. You know, she her knee feels great. Uh, she looks great in the circle. Um, so, you know, as far as that, the girls from last year, that's really what we have. And, you know, and Olivia Lasivita, she caught for us some last year when um, when Maddie was down for a little while. And, you know, so, but again, very, not a ton of experience, you know, um, at the varsity level. And then, you know, we got a really good sophomore class and a really, really good um, freshman class as well. Um, you know, I, uh, Lacey Juris, a sophomore who will probably um, start for as a shortstop, you know, Ava Freeborough, um, a sophomore, probably start for as a second base and Alex Ward, sophomore probably start for us at third base. I mean, these are all girls you're familiar with, obviously, you know, coaching them in the summer as well. And then, you know, Sophia Lasivita, um, Liz's sister, will help us, you know, in the circle and play some second base for us. Um, so, you know, I mean, we're young. Um, but, uh, you know, I think this year um, we, have, we get a little bit more athletic, uh, I think, as a team. We have a little bit more speed. Uh, Leah Haybager, she will also – be playing some first base for us as well and, you know, um, swinging a bat for us. So, um, you know, again, we're young, uh, inexperienced, but uh, I, I feel really optimistic about this group. This group, uh, they're hungry. And then you add in a, a really, really good uh, freshman right now and Gabby Safara in the circle as well. Gabby looks unbelievable so far here in the early going. This is the most depth of pitching, you know, I've had in, in a few years. So, uh, I think pitching, you know, we'll, we'll be fine uh, defensively. Um, again, we're young, but again, I, I feel optimistic about who who will be out there for sure. When you talk about all this youth and all these faces that might not be young but are new to the varsity level, can you put into words how important it is to return your battery and return pitcher and catcher and the in the the ability that gives you to kind of you know everything starts in the circle and you're returning Tori and Natalie, but you're also returning returning their catcher that they're comfortable with and Matty Weimer. How important is that to a team that is you know facing a lot of new faces and a lot of a lot of youth uh, around them? Oh, it, it's everything. I mean, you know, especially in the tournament. I mean, those two uh, were just they took it to a different level. I mean, uh, you know. Well, without Tori in the circle, keeping us in games in that tournament, you know, obviously, 
you know, you, and I say this all the time, your pitchers are only as good as your catchers. And, I'm, and I truly mean that. I mean, you know, it's just, it's unbelievable to bring back that same combo who had us really one hit from being in a regional last year, you know, one key hit and, uh, you know, being able to bring that, that same combo back. And then you add Natalie, uh, coming back who, you know, Natalie was, a, it was a hell of a pitcher prior to getting hurt. And then you, like I said, then you add the, uh, youth in, um, and Gabby and, uh, you know, really all three pitchers are unique in their own way too. So, uh, which is also a plus, you know, some, you know, you, you get to kind of maybe you start a game with one and end with one and, you know, you, you'll be able to do some different things that I normally wouldn't have been able to do in years past with, uh, with a combination of these pitchers, but yeah, it's extremely important to have, um, those two coming back for sure. In this league, a lot of pitchers and a lot of people know very well, um, Natalie Davis coming off an injury. Do you think it's a little bit of an advantage that there's not as much film on her because she wasn't able to pitch last year and you got, might be have a little bit of that ace in your sleeve that the rest of the league doesn't have in a, in a pitcher that other people maybe aren't as familiar with? Yeah. Yeah. That's a very good point. And, and also, you know, Natalie, and I told her this a couple of weeks ago, I said, you know, she just looks different. She's just really hungry. I mean, this is a kid who's lost two of her four years of high school softball. You know, she lost her COVID year her freshman year, and then she lost it, you know, obviously her junior year to an injury. She just looks really comfortable, really confident. And, you know, so, yeah, I think it does play, a, you know, a big role. And like I said, Natalie's unique in her own way and her style as well. It's, you know, she's not necessarily, you know, a fireball type pitcher. She's going to go out there. She's going to hit her spots really well. She's going to use, you know, her out pitches very well. So, yeah, I, I think so. Definitely to answer your question, yes. You know, pitching you guys are going to be solid. I think the question mark that people are having coming into this year for you guys is the, especially the power in the lineup was a lot of your seniors last year. Uh, what do you think the lineup is going to look like? What do you think this offense can do this year to kind of replace some of those bats that really brought you some extra base hits last year? Well, yeah, I mean, I did have, you know, that's the difference between last year and this year where, you know, last year we had some big boppers in the lineup and this year it's a little different. So it'll be a little different style of softball. Uh, you know, not that the short game hasn't always been important in my offense, but this year it's probably going to be utilized a lot more. So, you know, uh, and again, you know, I have the utmost faith in my pitching staff that we're always going to be in games that, you know, and I tell them, you know, perfect world, we can go out there and bat for 450 as a team, 400 as a team, but that's just not reality. And, uh, you know, as long as our pitching and defense keep us in games, you know, we're able to, you know, uh, steal them either late or, you know, or, or again, scrape, scrape two, three runs across the board, you know, and that, and that could be enough in a lot of games, hopefully. Let's talk about this AAC and how tough it is. You know, you look at the pitching in the AAC, <laughs> Howland, Fitch, you guys, and uh, Canfield all bring really talented pitchers into the circle. What's navigating this league like, and what's it like going up against a, a quality, quality college level pitcher every time you step on the field against a conference opponent? Uh, it creates more gray hair than I already have. I, I can tell you that it's listen, this league, if it's not the hardest around, I I'd like to find one that's tougher. I mean, you know, with pure talent and then pure, uh, not, not only just talent, but with coaching ability inside the, um, the, the league itself, uh, you know, now you had Mike over at Canfield inside the uh, league along with, you know, with, uh, Steve over, you know, over at Fitch and, you know, these guys are very experienced guys with really loaded rosters. And let me tell you, Anybody that's going to sleep on Howland this year, uh, they, they'll have another thing coming. You better take Howland really serious as well. That team is really talented. Uh, Brooke Tater is a really great pitcher. I mean, we all know about Sydney Watts. I mean, we don't, you know, we don't have to talk how good Sydney is. You know, uh, she's unbelievable. She's dynamic. Uh, and obviously, you know, Ayla Ray is the best position player uh, in the conference as well. I mean, Ayla is just an amazing um, uh, shortstop, but also just an unbelievable hitter. And again, you know, then you look over at Canfield and 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 Toth, and you know, their their freshman classes are, are loaded as well. Same thing, you know, with with Austin Town, and uh, you know, Warren Harding, he is doing an amazing job with that program over there. Same thing. There's no sleeping on any team in this conference. Uh, last year. We played Harding twice, and let me tell you something. We were in two close games uh, early in that game for most most of the first game, and you know, and we were able to you know all uh, pull away a little bit. But they are a different team as well. So yeah, this league is just 
it's it's unbelievable. There's so much talent in this league. It, it, as much as it's tough to navigate, it is fun to see all this amazing talent in the league. That being said, you still have to boost up your com- non-conference schedule. So who are some teams that pop up on your schedule this year out of conference that you're really excited to kind of test yourself against and excited to, to bring into the Boardman Softball Complex? Well, you know, I mean, it's every year. I mean, me and my athletic director, uh, Marco Marinucci, we we don't uh, we don't mince the schedule. We we know we're going to go out. He asked me who I want to play, and I tell him to find the toughest competition we can find. And you know, so this year we're playing the likes of Maslin Jackson, uh, Green. Um, we are playing Menor. Um, I mean, look here on my schedule here: I, Aurora, uh, Walsh Jesuit. Um, we're playing Poland. Um, we're playing champion. We're, our, we open up a, a three-way against Dover and Lake. Lake, who we played in the sexual championship uh, you know, last year. But, again, bringing back a lot of uh, talent there. So, um, again, uh, every game out of conference for us, you know, we, uh, we, we want to schedule up. We want to make it tough. Um, last year, we did the same thing. Obviously, our Florida trip, without our Florida trip, even though we took our lumps down there, without that trip, I'm not sure that um, we were – be as prepared as we were for the uh, tournament. Excuse me. <clears throat> when you think of all that and you think of the goals that you have this season, obviously win the conference first, tournament run next, um, how much is, is this schedule always preparing you guys? Like you said, you were one hit away from a district championship last year. How much do you kind of give your schedule credit for that? Oh, I think it's everything. I mean, you know, and, and if I didn't think I had the group of girls that can handle this, this, you know, gauntlet every year, you know, I mean, we prepare, we try as a coaching staff to prepare them. It's not just, you know, us, it's their travel um, coaches and, you know, in which you, you have a part in that as well. I mean, if we didn't think we could handle this, we wouldn't do it. I mean, if this is something where, you know, we're going to go out and, um, you know, just get steamrolled game in and game out. Uh, I, I think it's counterproductive, but I know we have the talent. Um, we have the ability. We have the mental makeup. Uh, we have the mental toughness. Uh, you know, again, there, there'll be some trying games this year. There's going to be some tough ones for us, but that's okay because it's only going to prepare us, like I said, <clears throat> for the ultimate run. I said it, you know, time and time again. I did not get into this uh, coaching high school softball to win two, three, four, five hundred games. I got into it to make a run at a state title and. You know, if those things happen along the way, great. But um, it, it's all about the big prize. And, you know, it's tough. Division one is, well, a- any of them are tough. But, you know, we know how tough it is. So we know that we have to be our toughest when we're going to see them late in the tournament. All right, Coach. Before we let you go, I want to give you the chance to kind of shout out your staff and the people that are working for you to make this boardman softball team as good as it can be let's talk about the people behind the scenes that are helping you out this year well we're a little different again this year i mean uh i have lindsey bates who's being my assistant lindsey's been with me since i started actually lindsey started was there prior to me so lindsey will be my varsity assistant um and i'm going to bring uh, my daughter Paige on with us she's going to be a volunteer assistant with us this year on the varsity and then um, we hired Mike Cook, who was over at Reserve uh, for the last three years. Uh, Mike was uh, over at uh, um, Canfield prior, so Mike's got a lot of uh, softball knowledge, softball experience. He's, you know, coached at the varsity level, and and then uh, Brian um, Ladner, who is a uh, who's a good friend of mine. Brian is a uh, as a he's he's uh, he's green right now as, as a softball, and but Brian has coached uh, football. He's coached baseball. And Brian is just really willing to learn and get better. And so, I mean, he's so far, he's been unreal at that. He's just, he absorbs everything. He's like a sponge and he does very well. So, you know, the, those two guys will, without question, have, you know, these JV girls um, battling for some spots on the varsity. And, you know, and like I said, having the addition of, uh, of Paige, the varsity level right now, um, you know, you, you've coached with Paige in the summer and you know what Paige brings to the table and, and, you know, just the, um, you know, the, the obviously coming right out of college, like she has just, you know, just fresh off playing in college and in high school. Um, you know, the girls really relate well to her. Um, Paige is a great motivator. And, uh, you know, Lindsay, Lindsay is like that, that second mom to them. And, you know, girls really just, uh, you know, they, 
they love Lindsay and uh, you know, I, I, it's, it's a staff that again, it's a little different in some ways, but I tell you, it's a staff that I think we will do some special things with this year. Let's end this by giving Boardman fans a heads up on when your first game is and when their first chance to come out and see the Spartans will be this spring. Well, we open up Saturday the 25th. We have that, uh, the three way against Lake and Dover. And then, um, then the following Monday, we are at, uh, we are actually, we're home for Crestview. Um, so that's our first games, uh, uh, praying for good weather here. We know what last spring was, but uh, hopefully this spring will give us a little bit of reprieve, um, in that department. So we can get some softball in. Could be a busy day for Boardman fans. You go check out some softball and then you can come watch, uh, Gia Traveri and Mackenzie Riccatelli in the YSN all-star game on the same day uh, well, a little bit later it, that night at YSU. So yeah, busy day and, for Boardman fans. Hope you can uh, come to all that. Yeah, and and it's, it's funny you mentioned that because ironically I'm actually officiating in that game. So go go watch two great players, great two great, great, great players. One mm-hmm. senior player, obviously, and then McKenzie, you know, still got another year ago. But, yeah, two absolutely amazing players that represent Boardman. Uh, and what a great year they had this year. Coach Hamilton did an amazing job over there. So I'm proud to be officiating that game also. So it, it'll be fun. Coach Hamilton will be on the coaching staff. So hopefully oh, good. he doesn't give good. you too too much of a hard nah, time. He won't. That's my guy. He'll be all right. <laughs> all right, Coach. Thanks so much for taking the time to join us today. We're so excited for Boardman softball. Can't wait to see you out there. And uh, we'll have you on again throughout the season to talk about your successes. All right, buddy, Mike, uh, and I appreciate everything you guys do. You, you know, you're my guy, and, um, you know, um, tell Ty I said happy birthday if you see him around, but, uh, you know, you're my guy. So I'll, I'll, thanks again, Anthony. All right, Coach, we'll see you soon, and uh, good All luck. Right, brother.